Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Biologists Confront Frank on Gender Theory. Guys, let's get straight into this. Have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, when I was in the Navy, nobody knows this, by the way. Jesus, <laughs> now I'm revealing my, I need a HIPAA form to sign here or something. <laughs> What do you have to say for people who don't fit in your definition of man or woman? I'm a biologist. Mm -hmm. I understand the biology. Are you saying that a woman is only a person who has two X chromosomes and a man who is someone who only has an X and a Y chromosome? I think that's the scientific definition. Yes. It's actually not because there can be people with XXY. There can be Y chromosome mm -hmm. inactivation. The way that this biology works mm -hmm. is that you have genes. Those mm -hmm. genes make proteins. Those proteins develop the traits that you define as men and women. They develop the features that you define as male. They develop the genitalia. Mm -hmm. But you can be a woman with female genitalia and be XY. You can be a man, but you could you can have XX chromosomes. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about, Grace. You're talking about a very rare condition known as intersexed. One right. in 100 people experience chromosomal differences in sex. Okay, but not one in 100 have different genitalia or ambiguous genitalia. And what do you say to those people? Well, what you say is that's a situation that is not the norm. We're not saying that they're not people, obviously. As I understand it, maybe you know more about it than me. Uh, when you do have a truly intersexed person, at, at that point, either the parents or when they're old enough, they can decide which way they're going to orient themselves and they can get the appropriate surgery. But that's not what we're experiencing so you're in our culture. It's okay for people to decide their gender. In that situation, but that's not what we're talking about in our culture. What we're talking about in our culture are people with perfectly normal functioning sexual organs yeah. trying to have them removed and trying to transition to another gender, which is impossible scientifically. Have you ever doubted that you're a man? Mm hmm. You've doubted that you... Oh, have I ever doubted I'm a man? No, I have never doubted then I'm a man. Then what do you say to a transgender person who has never doubted their gender? You're saying that we all change and that obviously transgenderism is a product of some kind of phase, but you've never doubted that you're a man. So no, where's I'm... Your, look, where's your development of this change? Grace, I'm not denying there are people truly with gender dysphoria. I've already said that. What I'm saying is, is the way out of that problem is not surgery according to the data. Okay. Psychiatry is the way out of that. Problem. I also don't agree with your statement that after surgery, you implied that transgender people are more likely to commit suicide after surgery. But the statistics say that transgender people are more likely to commit suicide because of people like, because of arguments that you make that they're invalid. No, I'm and not I'm saying not they're saying invalid. That, I'm just saying that you implied that it's the surgery that's causing suicide. No, it's rates. not. Uh, what but I'm, I'm saying, saying is the surgery doesn't fix anything. That's the point. The same, it's practically the same rate, whether they have the surgery or not. If you woke up and grew breasts today, would you would like them to be removed? There are men. Say that again. Have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, when I was in the Navy, nobody knows this, by the way. Jesus, <laughs> now I'm revealing my, I need a HIPAA form to sign here or something. You don't have to talk no, about it. No, what, like what I'm saying is, yes, I've had that myself and, and, and had it surgically removed when I was in the Navy. Yeah. And do you feel more comfortable in your body and more affirmed in your gender because of that? Well, it wasn't a gender thing for me. It was the fact, well, I can't even get into it now because it had nothing to do with my gender. Okay. So it, 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 it had to do with a, it had to do with the fact that it looked really odd. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Okay. But Grace, my point is, is if we truly care about people, are we going to try and force them down a road, particularly as children, into a solution to a problem which is proven not to be a solution. You just said that having that surgery made you feel better about yourself. No, that has nothing to do with transgender I surgery. Think, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't changing my sex. I was having breast tissue removed. Okay? I, I was always a man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... 
mm-hmm. and say that I have XY chromosomes, but I'm born with female genitalia and female body types, but I believe I'm a man. Should I not be allowed to have that breast tissue well, removed? As an adult, you can do whatever you want. Yes, that's my, fine. My problem is with the children. That's, that's, where, that's where I'm having a real problem. Is there a I, magic button at 18 that instantly makes you feel like you know who you are and absolutely what your gender is? I don't no, well, that's... I think for women, it's probably like 15. For men, it's 37. <laughs> To be honest with you, okay? Because men don't develop as quickly as women, all right? But no, no, we've just chosen 18 kind of as the, the adulthood crossing point, although for some issues it's 21, like drinking, okay? So no, maybe it's later than 18, okay? My big problem, and I would say this to somebody who's 37, that the surgery does not appear to help anyone. And if you want more data on this, you can go to sexchangeregret.com, sexchangeregret.com. But I wouldn't even be talking about this issue unless I thought the current way the culture is going is hurting people. And it is. Why, Why would I bring all this abuse on myself? I'd just like to say that I disagree. Okay. Thank you for talking. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Guys, I love the way Frank was honest with her. Like, I love the way he said the truth. Like, if anything, everything he said here is the truth. Like, based on what we know, and like him admitting to every single thing, uh, it's just amazing. But like for me, I feel people dealing with that issue, like fix it. I don't mean you should transition. Like, make sure you know that you know what you're doing. Like, make sure you have gone through every way possible and you are down to the fact that this is the only way out. But I still don't think it's a transition when you have a perfectly full working body. Like, there's nothing wrong with you. I just choose to want to be a woman. It does not make sense. I always choose to be a man. Like, make sure you have some issues. That maybe you have a woman organ. Yes, that part is understandable. Like, not when you are perfectly okay and you say you want to transition. I think you should visit a therapist or a psychiatry home. Like, one of them, like, you're going to get results from it. And I believe you're going to get results from it. I feel the pressure. Don't call it pressure, but, like, people saying it's fine to do it, it's fine to do it. The people being bored want to experiment to their body. Like, this is a life-changing stuff. Like, you don't just do it. And then... And people been giving this to the kids, and the, the, uh, what she said there was actually very, very stupid. I would say, because I don't think I understand that what she said that there's no age that make you understand life, but like you talking to someone that can't even fend for yourself or don't have knowledge that you fend for yourself about how to change your gender. Like there are things you cannot do. Like like a a. A young person cannot just enter a business contract. Like, you have to get to a certain age. The same way you cannot just transition. Like, those kind of things. Like, you're not supposed to know those kinds of things. I don't like the fact she didn't admit to that. Like, it was absolutely wrong. But guys, I don't want to think about this, guys. Let's go live, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys.